Today is World AIDS Day. We've come a long way from the fear, stigma, and ignorance that defined the disease back in the 1980s. But despite that significant progress, the virus still remains a public health issue. More than 600,000 people around the world die from AIDS-related illnesses every year. And tomorrow, thousands of walkers and runners will converge on Anacostia Park for Whitman Walker's 37th annual Walk to End HIV. News Force Joseph Almo has a preview. It is one of the biggest events in the entire country, raising awareness for HIV. Tomorrow, thousands of people are going to be walking along the beautiful Anacostia River Walk for the Walk to End HIV. And joining us on News 4, three people at the beautiful Whitman Walker facility here in Southeast DC. We have Abby, we have Tiffany, and we have Dwight as well. Abby, I want to start with you. Today is World AIDS Day, uh, coming just a day before this big walk tomorrow. What are you thinking about today? Well, first, I'm thinking about those we've lost. Mm. So a big part of World AIDS Day is, of course, remembering those who, who died during the AIDS epidemic. Um, but I'm also thinking about resilience. And I'm thinking about how many members of our community, how many patients we hear here at Whitman Walker we have that are living and thriving with HIV. Okay. Uh, Tiffany, this center here, the Max Robinson Center, opened up just a couple months ago. It's like the pinnacle of Whitman Walker. You do a lot of stuff here including one of the biggest goals, which is ending HIV. Yes, I do. And it makes me very happy to help with ending HIV. I'm the face that you first walk in, whether you are here to get tested, whether you are here to get seen, restart your medication, and stay on your goal of living a healthy life. Dwight, let's talk about that walk tomorrow. Thousands of people expected to show up. What do they need to know? Yeah. First of all, that it's a really good time. Um, we're still taking registration, so you can bring your kids, your dog. Um, it's tomorrow at 9 30 a.m. Um, at Anacostia Park. We really want the support of the community to come out and just stand in solidarity with us um, to really show that the community stands behind um, ending this epidemic um, that has really deeply impacted the community. It is the 37th annual Walk to End HIV here in Southeast Washington, D.C. Dwight said it. It's a really, really good time. One of the reasons why it's going to be a really good time is Storm Team 4 meteorologist Chuck Bell going to be emceeing it tomorrow. He said it's, he's done it for a couple of years now. So head out tomorrow. It starts at 9 o'clock, and they've been telling us all this morning that, hey, if you haven't registered yet, no problem. You can register same day tomorrow. I'm Joseph Oblo, News 4. Back to you.